sticker in my face. <laughs> okay, so this is my fourth video in my cleaning, my spring cleaning series. And I'm going to do that these videos through the rest of April. I was thinking about doing it with May, but I think I'm going to be done. So, I'm actually recording this after I've already... <laughs> After I've already cleaned. Anyway, so, um, but this month, um, joining me, um, is, for the rest of this month, joining me is Luann from It's Always Something Around Here and Jen from Jen's Journey. So, I will put a link down below. I added them to the, my original spring cleaning series 2018 so you can go ahead and watch their their videos they're going to join me for the rest of the month like i said and i'm going to add in my unboxing of my grove collaborative i've been trying to do the unboxing and just never got around to it so i'm gonna do the unboxing and then you can watch me clean Okay, so I have two boxes that have actually been sitting here for, <laughs> honestly, a couple of weeks. And, again, because I haven't gotten around to doing this video, I'm going to need some of this stuff to clean with. So, I'm going to show you now. Um, in case you are new to my channel, I belong to Grove Collaborative, which is um, a subscription box, I guess. But, you don't have to get something every month. You can um, just select nothing for the month but um they have natural products and if you click the link down below you can sign up for grove collaborative and save ten dollars off of your first purchase and the awesome thing is is when you do that you save ten dollars and i get ten dollars credit so that is awesome i don't know um so and also that's just a referral link um so if you're a youtuber or if you have a facebook channel you can get a referral link to and earn um, earn credit. So, the first thing I got, which is what I was using um, for to do the doors, um, is the Mrs. Meyers Lemon Verbena. I really, I think that's probably my favorite smell, which is weird because I've seen a lot of videos that people don't like that but I do I don't like perfumey smells and all like that and FYI I I probably should go get it I bought the um a while back ago I bought the Caldrea um linen spray yeah I would not recommend that I'll go get that in a second because apparently when I was spraying the bed um some of the spray got on the footboard of my bed and it was all sticky and tacky and then when I tried to wipe it off it actually damaged the wood just a little bit not too bad but anyway so I would not recommend using that and then this is new to me this is the method um all-purpose cleaner in the said pink grapefruit I wanted to try that I've heard a lot of people really like that I'm sure I would like that again I don't like the um Perfumey smells. I like fruity smells. Um, I did buy the um, Mrs. Meyers Honeysuckle. That one's okay, but I, I like the Lemon Verbena. It smells clean. The um, Caldrea is too perfumey smelling. I know a lot of people like it, but it's too perfumey smelling. So, and then I got this. I thought I would try. Oh, that was for free. So, it is the... Lavender Castile Soap. Uh, made with organic coconut and, and olive oil. So, um, not quite sure how you use this. This is used as a body wash, household cleaner, pet shampoo, really. Everything in between. So, I'll let you know how I like that. And, I'll find the stuff in here. And then I got the Method wood for good polish because I ran out of it love this stuff and I love the wood for good cleaner it smells wonderful I really like it and it works really well and then this is the lemon verbena room freshener I have already gotten that before so that's replacing the Caldrea room freshener well this is room freshener I don't know I've been using it on my linens 
I don't know. Is that what? Maybe that's not what you're supposed to be doing with that. And then I got two of the Tom's soap for hubby. I use a body wash. It's like the raw sugar body wash. I love that stuff. And this one is morning mint. I thought I would try something different and see if he likes that. And again, these are natural products, no artificial fragrance, no parabens, no animal testing on the Tom's. I also buy Tom's toothpaste. And then this is one we've already been using, which is the, um, <laughs> curtain, uh, is the orange blossom. All right, that's box one. Okay, so I got some of the seventh generation dish soap. I go through a lot of dish soap, and this is the, um, free and clear dish soap. And this was on sale, so I ended up getting four things. Oh, there's two more in here four things of this. It was two, I want to say it was like two thirty nine, which is cheaper than I can get at Publix. Uh, and then I also got the Method um, All Purpose Cleaner in the um, Lime and Sea Salt smell, because I've never smelled these before. Mm. It smells fresh and clean, but Hmm. We'll see how I like that, and I'll let you know in my next um, video whether I liked it or not, or in my empties, which I have a huge thing of empties to show you guys. So, and then I want to say I did use this one time. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I like that one. That one smells really good. I I do remember using this before. I must have bought some at Target and stuff. So, um, because I happen to be there sometimes, I'll buy these kind of products at Target just because. I needed them right away or something like that and I just happened to be there, you know, impulse buy and all that stuff. Alright, so that's it because the rest of the stuff is the um, soap. So let me get the Caldrea so I can show you what I didn't like. Okay, this is the Caldrea that I bought months ago and um, yeah, I don't like it. It's the Tangelello Palm Fron spray. It is too perfumey and again, like I said, it got on the wood on my footboard and I noticed it was tacky a couple days later I'm like what is on here why is this tacky and then the only thing I could figure out it was this tel this Keldrea and um yeah I wiped it off but it's still it kind of ruined the wood just a little bit not really probably you could notice too much but I noticed it I bought the other one um pear of guave or something like that I didn't like that either too didn't smell like pear, and this does not smell like tan, tang, tangerines. It's, uh, yeah, it's like way too perfumey. So <laughs> I put it in my guest room, so I'm going to use it in there and use it up. Um, because there's no wood in there. So there's no wood in there that it could ruin. Um, so I am going to use that up. All right, guys, that's it. Make sure you check out Luann and... Jen's uh, videos and also check out their channel. I will put the play the Their channel links down below plus the playlist for the cleaning thing and here is my spring cleaning list You know guys know maker so I was a little over ambitious and wrote down all these things I have ceiling fans which you see me do um, Oh, yeah, so the other one was the landscaping which was part one so stay tuned for part two I don't know, think I'm going to get all this stuff done in um, the next couple weeks. Obviously, I want to do the crown moating. I've got baseboards on here, but pff, truth is, I'm not going to probably do that. That's going to require a lot of bending, and you all know I don't bend. And after, I, again, I'm doing this intro afterwards, so I realized I missed the pantry door, missed the bathroom door in the... Um, master bedroom or the master bath it's like a pocket door and I didn't do two hubby's two doors upstairs the closet door and the bathroom door upstairs and his his office because quite frankly um his whole upstairs man cave bonus room needs totally deep deep cleaned that's gonna take uh, a joint effort between the both of us to do that so I have not I've lived in this house Almost six years. It'll be six years in June. And honestly, I have not cleaned the doors since living here. Mm -hmm. Truth is, um, I 
Well, that's not exactly true. You might have seen me do it in the video, but I've not like, you know, gone through the whole house and d done all the doors. Um, I've done a little, I think I did the master bedroom door once. I did the laundry room once and I've touched it up here and there. But anyway, the point is again, and I've said that with the ceiling pins, they weren't that dirty. They have like a super, super, um, high gloss paint on them. They are very good quality doors. The previous owner did obviously did a good job on that. Not on other things in the house, but uh, on that. So I don't know. The dust falls right off. Doesn't stick to it. Something like that. Anyway, it wasn't really that difficult to clean. I do need to do some touch ups. So that, that with the paint. So unless I go back with a um, magic eraser, you might be seeing the doors being repainted. Um, in another video and a fix it Friday. Anyway, enough talking. Watch the video, check out the playlist, check out Luana's channel, Jen's channel, and I'll see ya!